Welcome to a new chronicle with uh, Blue Cat Audio. My name is Pierre from The Guitar Channel and I am uh, with Guillaume in the middle of his top secret uh, studio, uh, development studio. Guillaume, how are you doing uh, today? I'm fine. All right. Uh, today we are going to show you uh, what happens when you just launch uh, Axiom, which is the um, software to emulate amplifier and effect and how to navigate uh, across all the different uh, presets. So where do we start, Guillaume? So we start with a blank page. So yes. here uh, there's nothing loaded right now. So the sound is really uh, dry. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Not super interesting. No. no. <laughs> uh, and so uh, the, the first option is to uh, go to the preset menu here. Yeah. And uh, go to the factory preset mm -hmm. and load uh, maybe a clean guitar uh, preset like this one, whatever. <laughs> we can push on the little arrows on the left and right to navigate through uh, presets directly. Okay. So here it's mainly clean sounds. And let's say I have the, I love the starting point I have here. I can obviously turn knobs and everything. So let's do this. I don't know. Uh, add some gain to that sound. Uh, okay, this one is pretty clean, so I'm not sure it's going to add much gain, but let's see. So I'm dry. So it's going to crunch a little bit. Okay, and let's say now I want to store this one because this is my very own uh, preset. How do I do it? So I'm going to click here yeah. uh, and uh, use save as and let's... Uh, and I put my name and uh, the name I want and I'm yeah. done. Then I select where I want to store it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to store it in the root of the presets. And now next time I want to load it, it's there in the menu here. Mm. Okay, easy. So that's the, the easy uh, way, uh, uh, but um, but there are, uh, there's a, a more convenient way if you want to search, if you want more options. So you click on this uh, icon here and it, op it opens up the uh, presets manager where you can search. So let's say for example, uh, I like the uh, twang tones. Maybe there are some in there. Okay, let's try this one. Ah, okay. So it's going to show me all the different uh, preset with twang in the description, correct? Yeah, exactly, yes. Okay. And so I, I, I can try it several ones. So, but maybe let's say I'm into Brit types of amps mm -hmm. and have s some several there. And the preset I have here is the whole uh, deal. So amp, uh, effect, uh, everything, not just the amps. Exactly, yes. So I'm navigating through the uh, the Axiom presets right now. So that's why we added some uh, different effects. Uh, let's see if there are other ones. So you can use the arrows on the keyboard to navigate through presets. Oh, that's good. And it's mm. going to change everything. So maybe uh, you can also, if you don't know what to search, you can remove the search pin mm -hmm. string and then go through the factory presets and there you have all the uh, categories. And it is the same presets we went through uh, when you went uh, using, uh, were using the first method. Yes, exactly. So okay. if you look uh, here, it's the it's same, the same. same okay. menu. Okay. But the thing is here, it's going to uh, remember uh, where you are. So uh, it's a bit more convenient. So for example, here I'm into the clean with effects. Yeah. Uh, and I can navigate very quickly between the set. So as you can see, it's loading uh, entire presets with uh, both the effects and uh, the amps. Mm -hmm. But you can also select to uh, navigate preset for only... Uh, so as you know, in Axiom, there are two channels, the A yeah. and B. Mm -hmm. So I can go to the channel A and there I can, uh, I can select 
presets only for the amp. So here I'm changing only the amp. So I'm keeping the effects but changing just the amp. So hold on, hold on. So here you first selected A and then on A you chose to go to just the amp section of the channel A, correct? Yes, by default, that's where it's going uh, okay. because usually you want just to change the amp. Okay. And so here uh, I'm on the amp section there. You can see that mm -hmm. and channel A. And so uh, I just changed uh, the amp, but not the uh, effects. I'm keeping okay. the chorus and mm -hmm. phaser here. Uh, but uh, we can also choose to change the entire ch channel uh, or uh, just to load some pre effects. Mm -hmm. So these are the effects before. So let's deactivate maybe those ones. And I'm going to, I don't know, try uh, to load an Ottawa. <laughs> And uh, same principle, I can move from one preset to the other, either using the mouse or the um, arrow on the keyboard. Yes, exactly. And so uh, it's going to load only a preset for the pre-effects section. Okay. Mm. So, so it's not touching the amp or the post-effects or master section. No. Mm. And uh, let's say uh, maybe I, I want to remove those. Um, I, I can do the same for the, uh, so I, I showed the amp and mm -hmm. I can do the same for just the post effects. Yeah. Uh, so let's say I'm going to try some reverbs. Uh. And always the same, if I stumble here on a nice combination I like, I can go to, um, to save to put this in my uh, preset uh, selection. Yes, exactly. So let's say, for example, this combination uh, is what I like yeah. uh, with the compressor, the GCL agent, the uh, amp and the uh, this reverb. Yeah. I go there just the same way and mm -hmm. I can save and give the name I want there. Okay, perfect. And it's going to appear then uh, the same way in both the menu and these presets. Mm -hmm. Uh, right. Um, you, you can also uh, navigate presets for the input section here. Mm -hmm. So it's the same as this menu here that you have it here. So it's another set of uh, presets for the on input the section. Yeah, okay. Only the input section. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, do the same for the master section, which mm -hmm. is this one at the end. Or uh, for the tools section. So the tools are something you can, you can show below which typically you will uh, add some drums, uh, synth or uh, sequencers there uh, to, um, to accompany uh, you while you're playing. And you can have some presets that you can do here. So I have multiple levels, let's say, of um, navigation of our presets, but the one above is saving everything. Yes. Did I get it that correctly? Yes, yes. yes. Um, but you can, uh, so uh, you have also access to the same sub presets uh, at different locations. So we have used uh, the preset manager here because it's more convenient to, uh, to go through the presets. Mm. But you also, for example, for the input, you have uh, the menu here for okay. the sub preset. Mm. For the uh, channel A, it's available here. For the pre FX A, it's available here. So basically, each section has its own sets of uh, presets. Exactly, yes. Mm. And for the amps, it's available here too. Uh, in the amp, if you open it there, or uh, in this location here. Okay. So many ways to, uh, to go to the same... Uh, uh, results. Yes, it, it depends on what you're doing, but usually uh, if it's, it's if, it, if you want to go through many presets and try many different things, you will open the preset manager on the left mm. and you select your section and then you can go through all the presets yeah. very easily. Either by going from one preset to another or select a keyword that is going to do uh, to narrow the, the search. Exactly, yes. Mm. Mm. Uh, and that, that's, so that, that's for navigating presets, yeah. uh, but there's uh, f for some effects and especially for the arm simulation, mm -hmm. there's an extra option, okay. which is called tone maps. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've seen uh, amps models uh, that we could select in lists, but there's a better way to do that, or a different way at least. That's the tone maps. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to show uh, all these uh, presets, which are uh, actually uh, amp models, on a 2D map. Uh, and the presets that are similar, that sound similar, are going to be shown uh, closer, t close to each other, whereas the presets which are very different are going to be shown very far away from each other. Okay. Uh, so you can either load the uh, pre-computed maps or build your own through the preset. Uh, let's maybe start with a pre-computed map. You can see uh, some some maps there uh, for guitars. Uh, let's say I'm going to try the Crunch palette, which are a couple of Crunch um, amps. Mm -hmm. 
going to remove maybe the, the reverb. A little bit uh, too, uh, too important. Yes. <laughs> That's much better. Okay. So here I have a crunch tool. Uh, I can click on uh, every single preset. So you see, here I have, I have some presets in a location. Yeah. I think they will sound similar because they are in the same location. Uh, quite different because of the gain. Uh, and I can also navigate around to find a new tone and create a new amp model without mm. having to deal with the parameters. So this way I can find an area that I like uh, and, and stop there. Let's say I like this one. Mm. And uh, when you do that on a 2D map, uh, it is actually changing many parameters, like you have a little uh, monkey behind uh, um, twisting a lot of knobs uh, to see what's going on, right? Exactly. We, we can, for example, open the amp editor, which uh, lets you uh, completely uh, edit uh, your amp. Um, let's show it in behind. Yeah. And so when I navigate, you can see that all the knobs are going all over the place. Woo! So it's doing all the work for you. <laughs> not just uh, increasing or decreasing the level of gain or level is playing with all the parameters available uh, within the amps. Yes, and it's basically creating a new amp model mm -hmm. uh, that you can then save. So let's say I, I like this one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to the uh, amp menu here and save it as my amp. Then you can uh, add it to the map. So my amp must be somewhere in there. Uh, let's go up. My amp is here. I can yeah. add it to the map, and you see, it's going to change the map and recompute the map with my amp there. Okay. I can select it here, and here you go. Um, so that that's a, a very nice and convenient way to navigate through the presets or build new amps easily. Mm. And if you want, you can create your own maps. So let's say, for example, I have a couple of amps that I like. Uh, I know these ones, for example, a clean and a crunch and a lead one. Mm -hmm. I can navigate through them this way. It's a very nice way to create a, an hybrid of, in that example, three completely different tones to create a brand new one. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, a good way, uh, once you have selected a few presets that you like, and you would like to find a sound which is in between, mm -hmm. uh, you put them on the map, it's going to compute the map for you, and uh, you can add more and uh, find the right tone in the end. I mean, okay. it, very cool. Uh, anything left or we went through all the different methods to go through all the huge uh, catalog of sound we have available? So you can, here, right now we use the maps for uh, the whole uh, model, yeah. um, for the, the amp, which includes both the preamp, the distortion or compression and the cabinet. Yeah. But if you want, you can, uh, you can do it separately for each uh, component. So let's say, for example, I like the, the amp that I have right now. Uh, I just want to change the cabinet. So I'm going to select the post section here. Mm -hmm. And again, I can load some maps. So let's say I like the 4, 412 cabs. I'm going to load a map which has uh, all these ones. And I'm going to create, uh, I can either click on the different uh, ones uh, to select the presets. And so since they are located in the in similar locations, they're going to sound similar. Or I can also uh, grab the mouse here and find a sweet spot, which creates a new virtual uh, cab mm. that does not exist in the reality, but which sounds good to my ears. <laughs> The concept you have created with the tone maps is available either at the macro level for everything or 
uh, here we went down to the post uh, section, which is the, uh, for the cap, for example, and it could be used, I guess, also for an effect? Yes, so uh, it's not the full uh, presets for Axiom, which includes all the effects. It's only for the amp here. Okay. Uh, but you can also apply the same concept to other types of effects. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, it's available for reverbs too. Okay. Uh, so maybe let's load first a clean amp here. Let's load the reverb. So basically, we are going to have tone maps for a complex kind of uh, effect? Yeah, usually creative effects, which parameters don't always make sense. I mean, or are a bit complex to uh, to use. Mm -hmm. uh, and the more complex the effect and the parameters, the, the, the more convenient the, the tone map. Okay, I see. So for example, I have a reverb, reverb, reverb here. And uh, if I want to adapt, the, uh, change the reverb, I have like four or five parameters to change. Yeah, yeah. It might be not obvious to guitar mm. players. <laughs> so I, I can just open the tone maps. And if I look at all the reverbs there, mm. so there are a couple of, the, that's all the reverb presets. Um, I can move around and find the, the sweet spot. So we can see on the left, it's mostly uh, rooms or echoes, so tiny spaces. Mm -hmm. And on the right, it seems to be uh, larger areas. Much, much larger, larger. <laughs> like infinite ones. <laughs> and I can go in between and find the, the, the right one. Again, without having any knowledge, uh, except maybe the, the preset names and, uh, and that's it. Okay, very cool. And again, I can save uh, this I my, as my reverb and uh, add it to a tone map and so on and so forth. Yes, and you can iterate forever until you find the, <laughs> the ultimate tone. <laughs> All right. Perfect uh, conclusion. Excellent. Thank you very much, Guillaume. Bye.